Welcome traders, Patrick Head Trader, Trading123.net. In this video, we're going to talk about today's trade on crude oil. Here we are in the summer months of July of 2020. Volume's a little light, the ranges are a little tight, and crude's not moving the way it usually does. As you see here, um, like I said, the volume's light, so we wait till around 10, 10.30 to play crude oil. And it was in this downtrend. It got a reversal, but it there was no volume to push it back up. And so we got stopped out for a loss. And, you know, it never went anywhere. So that does happen. So you have to be careful during the summer months because the volume is light and the ranges are tighter. So if you're used to going for $500 profit in crude oil right now in July, it ain't going to happen. You're going to have to cut your profits in half and go for two to 250 maybe 300 at the most. Because when crude reverses, it's only moving up, you know, eight to 10 ticks. So in two contracts, you know, that's uh, 180, 200 bucks. So I think you can do from a loss is learn from it and basically you know you never know what direction the market's going to go it could have turned here and, and went up 20 ticks and hit our goal and things would have been great. So if you trade crude you see that it's just been slow 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 grind slow moves down sometimes some selling sometimes not and then it bounces back and so that ends up into kind of a choppy situation. So every day you have to analyze the market and what's the chart telling you. And for the past two weeks you know ever since July started it's just been a slow, low volume grind. I mean, some days crude oil doesn't cha trade 100,000 shares by like 10.30. That's, that's insane. Usually it trades 100,000 shares by nine o'clock. So until crude trades over 100,000 shares, I am not trading it. Because you need volume to move the price action. So we get stopped out. And then we analyze the chart and we say, okay, where we can make another move, what's crude going to do next, where we can we bounce back, get a bounce back play, and get our money back. So we're going to reset the strategy by unenabling the strategy and leave the parameters the same. We're trading three contracts, stop a 15, goal 400, loss of 300. As we get near later in the day, usually the range gets a little wider. So we'll watch crude here. Here we got stopped out at 1040 and basically was expecting, you know, probably for this to, because this is like the low support right here. So looking for a crude probably to sell off and then maybe bounce back some. So let's look at our next trade. So this is a continuation of our last trade. We got stopped out around 1040. The uptrend held. And we're getting near the 11 o'clock time frame. So we start the auto trader. And it has this falling off the cliff look. And apparently I thought it was going to go down to 42 and below but it didn't and the way we have it set up um, I'm not trading you know one contract out at six ticks one contract out at 12 and then the other one at say 18 I'm just trading three contracts with a 12 tick profit target and so basically crude starts to sell off and then it stalls so I use chart trader and I push my stop up to get out with you know some decent profit here and then it, the trend changes we get long but it stalls out we tighten up the stop and it gets stopped out so we get a minimal gain and then it goes sideways here into this W pattern tops out at a higher high 
And this is just like a head and shoulders pattern where basically it's going to roll over. And so it rolls over here and sells off. And we hit our, uh, we didn't hit our max goal. We came one tick shy because it was stalling out here. So I moved the prof, uh, the stop up, and basically it got us out one tick shy of the goal. I thought we'd hit our goal, and then right here, this was the support level, and the market bounced here, and then crude went back up. So. You always got to look at the chart, analyze it, and if it's not selling off, you got to tighten up your stops and targets and get out before you get stopped out. So that was a rebound trade on crude oil for the day on July 21st, 2020, during the summer of 2020 here where the crude oil is in a tight range and you got to be able to go for smaller profit targets smaller gains and analyze the chart on the hour and wait for the volume to come in like I said you got to wait for crude to have over a hundred thousand shares traded so you don't get stuck in a tight range and get stopped out so hope you enjoyed the video this is Patrick head trader trading one two three till next time Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here for trading tips and videos and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, our social, social media accounts. And hope you enjoyed the video.